Hello everyone. Today we're going to do an unboxing by Captured by Radiance. This is one I have not tried before and I'm really quite looking forward to it. So let's get with it. So in this one, this is Turtle Cove. Let me put this door away. <coughs> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. This is Turtle Coral Reef. It is a square and it is 80 by 60 centimeters. And we're just going to unbox it, pull it out. It comes in this beautiful organza bag. And then we undo it. And just slide it out. Here is the toolkit. The toolkit itself comes in the organza bag. And there's nothing else in it. Here are the grills. Those are gorgeous colors. Just look at those. Those are just gorgeous. Love the colors. And if you look at the drill quality, I don't see any waste. I don't see any nubs on the side of them. They look really close to being equal sizes and they're flat. Really nice. It comes with an inventory sheet. So it has the picture, the company, the title and the artist the size and the drills. So these are squares. There's social media and some information on how to do drawing, diamond painting if you are new to it. They also have the legend here which has the numbers, the symbol, and the DMC code. For those that are not familiar, DMC code is the number that is used for cross stitching. So these numbers are the exact same as cross stitching. You can have them, um, you can have cross stitch patterns translated into or converted. Let's take a look at our toolkit. Beautiful, beautiful organza bag. And let's see what we get inside. You can kind of get a glimpse of it through the bag. Let's just pull everything out. So in here, what you're going to get is a couple of different things. This is what we call the boat. It is the tray that you're going to pour your drills into, shake it, make it even, and pick from. You will also have <clears throat> the pen with the squishy. Now, usually the squishy comes by itself, and you just simply place it onto your pen, put it in whatever position you want. It has a single placer, and then you get two of these four and seven multi-placers. And as you can see, I just pulled it out. You can just pull it back in, take it out, and put the other one in. Because it is a, a square diamond, you also get tweezers. It has a cover on it, and the reason why is because it is really quite pokey. So you always want to make sure you have your cover to place it back in so you don't hurt yourself. Sometimes they fall, you step on them, ouch. 
You also get a little container of blue wax. Just pop it out, open it up. It will have some plastic on it, so you want to make sure you pull the plastic off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fill your pan in, get the wax in the tip. That will help you pick up your, your drills or your diamonds. Put it back in the container so it stays nice and fresh. You also get one of these. These are washi tape. This is a really good size. It is nice and wide. They will come in different sizes and in different patterns. This one is a boat with on the water, which I think fits perfectly with this canvas. People use different things for this. They can put it on the edge of your canvas in case there's some stickiness right in along here. Just put it along there. People can also section off parts of their canvas. And then one of the other things I absolutely love is this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a mermaid tail and it's actually a cover minder. So it has magnets on the back of it. There's the other side of the magnet. This one's a little different. They put on either side. In some kits, it will actually just come like this. So what do you do with a cover minder? Great question. So when you're working on your canvas and you pull back the cover, it's hard to keep the cover still and out of your way. So top part goes on here. The bottom magnet goes on the bottom. So now it's snug. What you do is you pull back your canvas. Your magnet's right underneath. And voila. And then when you're finished, just take it off, put it back. And you can actually just move it gently across. You don't actually have to like undo it and move it. And then you get their business card. Captured by Radiance, your masterpiece awaits. And then on the back has some information, your social media, as well as a code for 10% off your next purchase, which is underneath my thumb. So let's put this to the side. Make sure we have everything. And let's look at the canvas. Make sure I have it the right way up. Now this one is a fairly large canvas. Again, this one is 80 by 60 centimeters. Canvas paintings come in centimeters. And you can just see the top of it. It's got some turtles. Let's see if we can maybe. Sorry about the, the lights. I will figure it out on it. But this is absolutely gorgeous. You've got all the coral. You've got this fish. Reminds me of Finding Nemo. And there's a starfish. Another fish. And there's turtles. Stingray. It is quite magnificent. This piece again is Turtle Coral Reef by Adrian Chesterman. And his name's up here with a picture. It has the legend on both sides. So on the left upper side, it has it here. There is one to 47. So there's 47 colors. 
47 different drills. They all have their own symbol. And let's just take a look at the symbols. So if we look at these ones right here, you can see that they're, they're really quite clear. You can see the re return arrow. So what we would just do is we would just go through our legend and there's our legend right there. So there's the return arrow, which is symbol nine or number nine. It is the DMC 413. And it is quite magnificent. <coughs> the other thing that you'll notice differently on this one, that most companies, I haven't seen any other companies do this, is they have the legend on the left upper hand, and they have the legend on the bottom right. What's different though, is it's upside down. Why would it be upside down? On the larger canvases, or maybe even the small ones, when I'm working on them, because they don't fit on my table completely, I will rotate my canvas to the, where I am working on it. So if I'm working on it upside down and doing the top right section of this canvas, which right now is at my bottom left, I can still see my, my legend, which is nice, very nice. So, let us look at the drills. These things are gorgeous. They will come in a contained clear bag that has some glue on it. So let us go down to Crinkle Land. And what you'll notice is each one of these in this kit are individually bagged and already labeled which is awesome. Now you will see that there's two different numbers on them. One says 996 and the other one is 16.55. The 996 is the DMC code. The 16.55 is the weight of the bag. So for example, let us grab Another bag. So here, this one is smaller. It doesn't have as many drills in it as this one does. So this one's 9.45, where this one's 16.55. So that would make relative sense. This number is 3846. So let us just take for a moment, take these two bags, go back to our legend on the canvas. <coughs> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. And let us take a look. So the other thing you'll notice on here is the DMC numbers are all in numerical order. And as we're going through it, let's take a look and see if we can find 3846. So we'll just go straight on down. 3846 is this one here. And it is number 43 in our 47. It is also the symbol of the V. So if we were to take a look at this canvas, and find where this one might go. I can see right now I, the colors are matching. And right down here, you'll see these. I'm trying to get that glare out of there. 
Let me get the V's. So that's where those will go. This other one is 996. So let's go back to our legend. 996 is this one right here. It is X. And conveniently enough, right beside it is an X. So this will go in like the water, which is really quite cool. Now, as we're looking at these, one that I've noticed is there's these numbers down at the bottom here. So we have 3846, which is the V, which we just looked at. But then we go back to a 210 AB. And then there's like three more that have ABs behind them. AB stands for Aurelia, Aurelia, Aurora Bullialis. And that means they have an iridescent coating on the drill. So it's the same color as the DMC, but has a bit of a more of a shimmery look to it. So let's see if we can find one of these. So one will be red. Oh, right here. That is wonderful. And I have all four of them. That is totally awesome. So as you can see, there's like a little bit of a more of a shimmer to them. That's because of the coating that they pl place on the top of the drills, which makes them more of an iridescent and gives you that shimmery effect. They use these ones to give little sections of the canvas that pop. So for example, this one here, 996AB, this is like a little squirrely shell symbol. And I just happened to notice it. And it's in this fish right here. So not the whole fish, but just throughout it. So this will add some sparkle to this fish, which will be really quite nice. Here's some red ones. If we take our boat or our tray, and let's put some of them on there. So you just pour them on, give your tray a shake and see how they shimmer. Really quite nice. So if we go to when that is not, yeah, let's go with this one here. So I'm just gonna pour these back in there for a moment. And let's take this one. And you'll see the difference between these drills and the iridescent ones, the AB ones. So they're red, but they don't quite shimmer. So now I normally don't mix them in the same tray, but for this purpose, I will. You can see the difference between the regular drills and the AB drills. You can see how they just shimmer and then you just place them on your canvases. So you can take a drill, pick it up and put it down or use your pen. So I will split these and put them back in their appropriate containers. 
we'll just move them to the side. No big deal. So guys, so here's the 210. Look at that shimmer. So when we're talking about trash or um, knobs or anything like that, we're talking about pieces like, so here, here's one piece. It's a trash. That's not a drill. You're not going to use that. Okay. And every bag from every company, every manufacturer, you're going to find the ones in your, in your drills. The other thing you may find is you'll find these little, little escape artist ones. So this blue one doesn't belong in this bag. So they're called like escape artists or hitchhikers. They're just going for a ride. And again, you'll find that as well in every kit from every company, every manufacturer. Just what happens. So these are all the colors. They are so pretty. I am so looking forward to working on this canvas. I will be working on it um, for the Ticket to the Ride, a destination event. And I, for their event, what's required is you put a piece of paper down, you handwrite it, then you put a, a word down on it that they have specified to let them know that you're starting it with everybody else. It's something very similar to cross-stitching projects that people work on. So I am really looking forward to working on this canvas. I hope you enjoy this review. Let me know what you think. This is my first review. So I am going to learn as we go through this. This is totally awesome. So they have their name at the top of the canvas. At the bottom of the canvas is their slogan, your masterpiece awaits. Their social media on the left hand side. On the right hand side, it has oh snap insurance and 100% satisfaction guarantee. So when you purchase it directly from the company, if you drop the drills, something happens, give them a call, get in contact with them. They will be more than happy to assist you, help you resolve it. The canvas itself is really quite nice. It is like a soft, velvety cotton. It is quite nice. It's not plastic. They also have the sculpted edges and perforation. Why they put the perforations in there is if you get like um, a thread, it won't actually tear through your canvas. It won't fray, which is wonderful. I've had some where it actually starts to fray or ones that I've gotten that have the threads on the bottom and as I work through it, it gets bigger. Luckily, it hasn't gone through my canvas. So um, that's one of the things that they do. One of the other things that we haven't looked at yet, guys, is <clears throat> how sticky is this canvas? So let's pull back the plastic. This is a poured glue, which means they put a clear plastic on it do not take the whole canvas plastic off and it only goes back on the way it comes off. So if I were to take this off and then put this side here, it would stick and I would have a real heck of a time getting it off. So do not use parchment paper on this. You can use release papers on it, but they lay it down and they pour the glue on it. So. If I stick my finger on it, that's how sticky it is, which is awesome. 
love that stickiness. That is one of the qualities that you will look for when you're looking at your canvases. So, as, as we begin our destination travels, we're going to go to the Turtle Coral Reef. This makes me think of the Great Barrier Reef down in Australia. Makes me think of Finding Nemo. Your masterpiece awaits. Let me know your thoughts, what you liked about the review. I will show you as I go through this. Welcome to my journey, and I will see you in a bit. <laughs>